species exhibit with a mural that lights up. It's kind of illuminated with the uh, various wildlife. The Assabet River National Wildlife Refuge was proud to host the recognition ceremony for a group of students who participated in a new Head Start program for the threatened Blandings turtle. Directed by State Representative Nikki Songas, the ceremony took place at the refuge's new visitor center, an eco-friendly facility located in Sudbury, Massachusetts. I'm Michael Mueller. I teach 7th grade science at uh, Curtis Middle School in Sudbury. The kids that I worked with last year, 7th uh, grade class of 92 kids, were, um, we were all afforded the opportunity of head starting two tiny new hatchlings of Blanding's turtles. They actually used their own time after school on Fridays to weigh and measure and clean the tanks, which is not an easy thing to get seventh graders to do, but these guys were all for it. My name is Amanda Rose and I was on the Ivory team last year. Our teacher, Ms. Mueller, was very excited when she found out we were going to have some new guests in our classroom, two tiny baby turtles who had hatched in the animal hospital where their mother was receiving treatment. Almost the entire class was there in the corner looking at our new baby Blanding's turtle. Girls fretted over their small size, and boys laughed at the way their tiny heads bobbed up and down as they swam. Emmy and Andy were the center of attention. I never knew that taking care of Emmy and Andy would have such an impact on my life. I'm really proud that my classmates, Ms. Mueller and I, helped save a threatened species. I now see the importance of enthusiasm about science that people like Ms. Mueller have because Blanding's turtles like Emmy and Andy are relying on that. I'd like to provide a certificate of special congressional recognition to the Curtis, Ephraim Curtis Middle School Ivory Team Science Program uh, in recognition of your strong commitment to the environment of the 5th Congressional District uh, and by multi and a multiplier effect this kind of thing ripples out across our country. So with that, thank you all for everything, and thank you in particular to your great teacher. What can the average person in your community do to help conserve wildlife like the Blanding's turtle? Um, simple things like helping a turtle cross the road. Um, Try not to hit them with your car. <laughs> yeah. you know. And also just being green at home, like recycling and turning off the light bulb would help. Not when you can, instead of taking the car, carpool in so you don't have as much cars running at the same time. Turning off the sink when you brush your teeth. Yeah. Simple, simple things. Stuff. Um, if you could give a message to um, other schools who would consider doing this program, what would it be? It's work, but it's worth it. It is so worth it. It is, as one of my students said, really empowering, I think, for kids to be able to actually, with their own hands, help a threatened species do something concrete that's positive because there is so much doom and gloom in the news over the natural world and with good reason but there's there, it's, it just shows you that you can be 12 years old and you can still do something and make a difference. <laughs>